This is my first vlog on how to become a backyard beekeeper. I've been thinking about doing something like this for some time now, but I really didn't know where to start. So I did, like most people, turn on the internet, did some research, watched some YouTube videos, and I really uh, wanted to find something that was uh, user-friendly. Um, I didn't want to take up uh, my whole day as a full-time beekeeper as this is a, a side project so I was watching a YouTube video from a gentleman in Australia who designed uh, this this different type of hive he calls it the flow hive and it's basically the same thing as a, as a Langstroth hive which is what most people think of when they see you know the white beehives um, out in the field uh, raising honey so um, it's the same size and everything, but the big difference is um, instead of breaking the box apart, taking the top off, disrupting the bees, and taking the boards of honey out and coming back to your shop and harvesting the honey um, with all the labor, excuse me, in, in, your, in your shop, you do it all out in the field. You don't have to break the hive apart. Um, all you do is you take two boards out, makes a shelf you take a, um, a cap off here a cap off out here and you take a tube put it in here now these are the flow chambers which are it's kind of like the uh, the boards where the traditional uh, hives will have honey comb in here that you take back and you have to harvest it and, and, and filter it and all that labor and work. Here, all you do is you put a jar on the shelf, put it underneath the, uh, the tube, you take, it's like a key, and you slide it all the way in and turn it down. Now what this does is in the flow hive, it's already made with um, food grade uh, plastic that represents the uh, honeycomb and when you turn the key it takes the octagon shape uh, uh, of the honeycomb and kind of just makes it off-centered so all that honey dribbles down the bottom right and then comes out here into your jar now um, it's designed so it doesn't harm the bee the bee can't get stuck in between there and once we're done you just take the key out, reposition it, turn it down, and now all those uh, honeycombs that were offset are now repositioned right away. The bees go in, they start resealing things up, getting rid of the caps, and putting honey back in, into, the, uh, into the honeycomb. Um, I picked this because it was a lot less labor. Um, it has uh, several neat features, which I'll show on my upcoming blog when we put the the uh, uh, flow hive outside. You can it has side windows here, so you can actually watch your bees work. And the great thing is, while you're harvesting honey over here, the backside where the bees come in and out, they don't bother you at all. You don't bother them, um, and it's a it's a, uh, a good partnership. Right now it's April, so we're gonna be receiving our, uh, our honeybee nuke within the next two to three weeks. That's when uh, the people who are buying our bees from 
will come here and help install in the brood box um, a beehive that already has a laying queen, established brood, which is, which is the babies, um, an established hive, and they'll put it in here. And then we'll put a, a top feeder on and we'll start our, our process of uh, developing a new hive. Um, so over the next uh, week or two, I'm going to make a vlog about how to uh, select the position and the location of your hive outside, how to install it outside. Um, I've got some uh, uh, packages coming in with some new equipment, uh, bee suit, and some other things that uh, you need as you, uh, as you start um, as a backyard beekeeper. Um, I'm completely a novice. I'm learning as I go. And uh, hopefully um, you'll learn too. And if I make mistakes, we'll learn from those mistakes. Um, one thing I have done in the bottom of this, of this video is I have uh, put a link to Flowhive. So you can actually see some of their videos and it actually shows how the whole process works. They have a really good uh, a program that also has a learning program that comes along with it. Um, so far, I'm very happy with the company, uh, but we'll see. Um, this is all new and this is the beginning, and I hope you uh, stick around and come back and see how things progress. Until next time, see you later.